Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Rabbit Waterworks. We're back with the Cutlass, doing some more work on it today. And we're going to do some odds and ends projects and get into a couple of other things. So, hope you enjoy and stay tuned. Okay, so one of the projects we've been working on, as you guys saw from the previous video, is we actually got doing some work on the lights and rebuilding those. So we got and those back together, and uh, Junior's got the gaskets back in place. And uh, if you haven't seen the other video, we tweening these lights yeah. up. Don't look at that, that video. Yeah, we cleaned the lights, and now we got some new bulbs. Yeah, so, the other ones are painted. Yeah, so now we got some nice clear new bulbs. And we've also been doing a little bit of work on uh, getting the battery tray um, taken care of as well too. And so I spent a lot of time digging out the um, uh, older bolts uh, with these, which are called pierce nuts. So I've actually got the ability to uh, thread in some of the new um, fasteners for the battery tray, uh, which is good. But uh, I had a challenge trying to get this other pierce nut um, cleared out with the old fastener. So I'm going to have to get another one of those. But at least we got the tray somewhat able to get mounted with at least a couple of bolts. So that's some progress. But uh, yeah, let's get the uh, lenses back together. Oh, plus the other thing we did with, with that is like I actually rewired the connector here. And I put some detachable connectors on there in case we ever want to take that off again. It was, it was just uh, put together with um, uh, tape. friction tape. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so and then the other thing that we've been working on is I did get the um, license plate um, fastener pull downs put together too. So that's all ready to go. Yeah, and we're gonna put. We have a new license plate on that. That's work right. Line, so if you have yeah, we got we'll have to show the plates on here as well too because we got our California uh, Plate. plates, original 1970s plates for the year of manufacture, uh, which is a program that California allows that you can actually have blue plates on the car, like the, the IROC here, for example. Yeah, those see some videos that I watch too. Yeah, exactly. They're actually, they're both GM cars too. Yeah, they're both GM cars. That's right. Okay, well, let's get into putting the, the lights back on and uh, we'll start doing some of that and, and then do some testing. Yeah. So, cool. All right, guys, so let's get this one on. We got the bulb in. And uh, we're just going to hand thread these in. Wow, I can already tell this looks way better because we don't have the big rust line. And. Got that nice white paint coming through. So that's cool. Okay, so we got the left side in now. So just for the sake of uh, testing this out here, we are going to put the battery tray in at least with uh, a couple of nuts. So.
Okay. So that's good. That's with two bolts. And like I mentioned, we're going to get one more here once I get the pierce nut that I need. And there's a couple more other bolts in the kit too. I think there's another one that actually goes through here with a washer. Um, but I'm not sure how much that's going to help. I'm more concerned about the three to the frame. So, but um, let's drop the battery in. Okay. There we go. So that's cool how that sits right in there. And then this uh, hold down literally comes in the side here. Got the battery hold down clamp in place as well. And now that thing is like solid. So that's the type of battery hold on that we were looking to get. So that's good. Aside from that one bolt with this pierce nut, uh, I've got a couple of these on order. Um, that's good. But that's the, the look that we're going for and the stability. So that's awesome. Okay, guys, we've got the lights back connected. Got the battery hooked up, so let's test the lights out. You ready to test the lights? Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna do left and right. So let's try doing left first. So jump on the blinker. Cool. Push it down and hold it. This should click when you do it. Yeah. Click it. It'll click when you go. Click it. There you go. Cool, dude. Check it out. Put it back on and come over here and check. Come here. Work. See? Look, look at it work. Look at how bright and cool it is. What's that other one? Okay, let's check the other side. Whoa, cool. They both work. Way. Wow, it's way cooler looking than it was before with that white painted stuff. That's cool. And you turn the lights on too, it looks like, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And it looks it's so cool how the lights get so uh, better. Looks way better with the white. No more rusty signal lights. Yeah. Cool, dude. The next project is putting our washer jug in. Now that we got the battery connected, we got our lights done. This is going to be. So this doesn't come with like pre-drilled holes and these are solid plastic tabs. So that's not easy. That's not easy, that's right. And these screws have to go through it. So I got a Sharpie and I think we're going to have to do something where Junior, you get underneath here and you draw with the Sharpie. Yeah. And put marks on these. Think you can do that? Yeah, and then you hold it. But in order to do that, we have to mark where they're going to go because I think I need to put a small hole in each one of these before trying to drive a screw in there without anything for the pilot. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So what I need to do, or someone needs to do, is hold this so that it covers, each one of these tabs covers these holes centered on. See that one's off. So that we have and the nice thing is we got a little bit of backlight that's can I make a suggestion? Yeah. You just do one, you know, and put the bolt through and then uh, if you've got it in place then you can go back and mark the other two. Yeah, well, you know, a good idea just to start with the top one then. Grandpa knows best. <laughs> okay, let's do the pressure on it. Washer jug, batteries all locked in together. So those are some great details to have completed. So 
Oh, that's awesome. Uh, the other thing I did off camera was I took the kick panels out and I took out the back seat. And lo and behold, found another mouse house in there. So that was mouse house number how many? Five. Five. So that's going to help because I'm trying to reduce the stink in the car and get some of that uh, mouse smell out. And I think that'll help quite a bit. So, yeah. So let's jump on some, next, uh, some other projects. Hey guys, well, it's the next day when we start carpeting and looks like it's going to work. The wheels and the variation of the seats. Uh, you can see our shredded piece there. We also took all the seat belts out. Got those ready. We're going to soak these things in Dawn uh, dishwashing detergent and some really warm water. Reason being is that um, you know some of these are pretty rough shape and uh, We've actually got some rust on um, like this one specifically that's going to prevent it from moving. So we're going to try to loosen all that up and uh, give it a good soak. Uh, the other thing I did as well too is just for posterity. I did put our new California 71 plates on there just to see what it looks going to look like. Um, it looks pretty cool though. You can see it from there. Yeah, and then other than that, just uh, trying to tie up some other the parts in the inside now with the seat out and then I took out some of the other components underneath the dash there's a weird uh, wearing connection around the brake light I think the if the parking brakes on or off so I might try to fix that up to make sure it's nice and you know, sealed same thing with this, this blue wire that's going across the floor um, I want to make sure that that's uh, fastened as well too it had some tape that was uh, coming out so yeah, we'll just keep uh, doing some projects on it and uh, keep moving forward. I think we're getting closer to uh, the next bigger project, which is probably going to be the headliner. So if you look at uh, some of the parts of the headliner, um, it's, it's in pretty bad shape. And uh, it's kind of neat to see is at least uh, that's the original color of the headliner there. But uh, I'm going to start sourcing one of those and uh, we're going to get um, definitely that is one of the next things we'll work on. Um, you can also see the, um, the seat belts and um, everything we had to do to get these cleaned up after soaking them in really, really hot water and Dawn dish, dishwashing detergent, they all came clean. Uh, these three I actually had to do a lot of work with a pick to get the, the rust out of them, um, but now they're unlodged. So all those little things uh, take a lot of time, but uh, Hope you guys enjoyed the video today uh, and consider uh, subscribing, like the video if you, if you, if you thought it was great uh, and I hope you guys see us in the next video as uh, we keep working on the cutlass. Take care. Peace.